Hello everyone, this is Stephanie. Welcome to another video. Um, this is the flat spiral that um, I said I was going to put up this week. And um, so here it is. And if you watched um, the other video where I had about 30 or 40 of them out, yes, I made a lot of these at one time. And I just put them away. And, and um, it was so nice to pull them out and see what a beautiful stitch this is and how something so simple can just be so elegant. Gorgeous. This is pearls. Um, what we've got on these is a six millimeter um, pearl or a six millimeter fire polish down the center. Um, this one of my favorites. I say it's kind of my favorite. I mean, I love turquoise. I love this for the summer. So this is turquoise and copper. It reminds me of Sedona um, in Arizona, which I, you know, it's like one of my favorite most favorite places on on earth so here's here's a black fire polish very vintagey looking and what's um, cool about um, some of these is as I've put the um, and I'm gonna close this um, right on camera um, I've put this adjustable toggle clasp on some of them and what happens is so there's the the bracelet and so if it spins which bracelets do sometimes this is what's going to show is this sort of pretty little three loop guy so <laughs> love my terminology three loop guy so anyway of course it looks pretty this way but it looks pretty from the back too so um, you can put um, any kind of closure you like on this on this bracelet um, I have several different closures the one that I'm going to do tonight is I'm going to do the pearl. I'm going to do these eight millimeter pearls because I thought this was such a pretty one. I love this one, and I want you to, I want you to make this one if you like. And I'm going to put a um, instead of the ball and socket closure, which I'll show you, um, I'm going to put a um, a crystal at the end because it's you know it's that sparkly time of the year, so I think it would be kind of nice. So anyway, um, let me pull out a little bit, and I'll show you what you're going to need for this. So, let me see if I can get myself organized here a little bit. Okay, here we go. So, I'm, I've been trying to do the magic with pulling it down and all of a sudden everything appears. I'm still not great at it. So, I'm going to take these <laughs> and put these aside. And I'll just, I'll just put the little pearl on. So, you need some pearls. I've used 19 pearls on this one. It's, it's, it's 7 inches. It's a little bit small for me I would do start I do 20 pearls if you want a seven inch bracelet and um, go up from there if your wrist is bigger I have um, so I have these eight millimeter pearls now check your pearls um, these might be a little these are the pearls that I, I bought when I went outlet shopping and I don't you know if you watched that video and I just ended up buying these on clearance and they were eight millimeter glass pearls and I got three strands of them and um, I just don't know. I don't have an eight millimeter pearl, Swarovski pearl, so it could be a little more than eight millimeters. So just check. It doesn't really matter. It could be a six millimeter. You just use more pearls or more fire polish. So you need this little um, eight millimeter um, Swarovski or whatever fire polish. Doesn't matter. I'm using a black diamond AB. Beautiful. I'm using um, four millimeter black diamond bicones. Okay, and I love those. They're gorgeous. And they, I, on this one, I use the silver shade, but I like the the darker bicone on the side. And you'll see, you'll see the difference. Um, it really is pretty. And I've got some 110 uh, metallic bronze seed beads. Um, I've got a size 10 beading needle, some eight pound fire line, and um, that's it. So why don't you gather up your goodies and we'll get started making this great flat spiral bracelet. Okay, we're back. And um, please forgive me. I'm going to try not to sneeze. I do have a cold um, that just came upon me <laughs> this afternoon. And I've been coughing a bit and, and sneezing. So um, I, I'm going to try really hard not to sneeze. So anyway, here we go. So here are the... Um, Pearls. This is the little pearl bracelet. It's it's an elasticized, so I'm just gonna give it a cut and pull the pearls off. So I mean, you're gonna probably order your pearls somewhere, or if you find you know a very reasonable pearl bracelet, I say go for it. So here you go. 
So we've cut our, we have our pearls, we have our 11-0 um, seed beads, we have our bicones, we have the um, 8 millimeter crystal for the closure, a little stop bead. Take your um, size 10 beading needle, thread a if you can thread a couple of wingspans on, do so, um, because we're just going to make the, we're going to make it, this price is going to be one big, um, you know, you know, uh, done done on one long thread. I'm just going to pull out just a teeny bit. And we're going to add the clasp as we go. If you have to add thread, you have to add thread. You know, you just, you know, it it doesn't really matter. You know, you've got to do work with what's comfortable for you. And in time, if you're a beginner and you need to, and you have to have th add thread because it gets all tangled or whatever, eventually you will not have to add thread and you will use a piece that's long enough for this anyway. So I'm taking my stop bead. I'm going to bring it down, and I'm going to leave just a little tail, just enough to sew in. Okay, hold on to, maybe six inches or so. And, excuse me also if I, you know, if I sniff a little bit, I will try really hard not to. It's just this, I mean, it was amazing. I felt great this morning, and then um, coming home this afternoon, I was just, you know, I just started sneezing like crazy. Okay, so take two of your pearls. Pretty, don't they glow like little moons? Bring those down to the stop bead. Okay, so we're gonna start. That's how we're gonna start. Okay, so then I'm going to take for, for now the amount of seed beads you use that you're gonna wrap around these guys right here. It's gonna depend on the size of your of your um, center bead that's going all the way up the center bead. Now I find that. Six, uh, 12, so 6 on each side of a bicone. It's 3, 4, 5, 6 of 11 O's. A 4 millimeter bicone. And 6, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay. Um, this works well to wrap, and you'll just try it. And if it doesn't, if you know, if you, if thread shows or it's too tight, then you'll, um, you can change the amount which is really cool. You can change the beads you put on the side. This is just your basic. So you're coming up through the bottom bead and you're going to just wrap it around those two beads, just like so. So it should look just like that. Okay, so you're going to do that again. Take six. Seed beads. A four millimeter bicone. Three, four, five, six, and I'm gonna try not to. I'm gonna try to use my other hand just because, or or just move it around, just so you can see. I want you to keep this right side up. So I want you to make sure that you just come around through the the bat the bottom of the first pearl and up the second one. Make sure that it sits on the other side of your two beads. So there you go. You've got your first two, your first two pearls on. And around your pearls, I think I have to probably come in just a teeny bit for you. Okay, around your pearls, you have these beads. Okay. Pick up a pearl, bring that down, like so. And then I want you to pick up the same sequence of beads. So you're going to take one, two, three, four, five. Six eleven O's, four millimeter bicone, and six eleven O's. Okay, that's what you have on your needle. All right. I want you to skip the bottom pearl, come up the next one, and the one you just put on. Okay, just like that, and then pull. One thing, very important, just make sure when you put these on that each spiral lays on top of the one before. Okay, so we're going to do that again. Three, four, five, six, a bicone, one, two, three, four, five, 
six. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna come around. We're going to skip the bottom one. We're gonna come up the this one and the the pearl we put on. So I'm just gonna pick it up to do that. Um, it's just a little easier for me to get it, and then I'm gonna pull. Okay, just make sure that they don't twist. Give it a pull and make sure they sit on top of the previous beads. Okay, so do you see where if I pick this up, it's sitting on top of the previous spiral. Okay? And that's what you want to make sure of. You don't so so don't turn it around. Keep it in one direction and make sure they're always going on top. Okay, we'll do it again. Pearl. Bring it down. six seed beads, one four millimeter bicone, six seed beads. Okay, you're going to, here's the pearl that you just put on, go down one, go down to the previous pearl, and then the pearl you put on. Okay, so I'm going to pick this up. And don't worry if your pearl travels a little bit, it'll be fine. So each time you're putting on a pearl, you're going to go through the previous pearl and the one you put on, and that's how you're going to do your wrap, okay? That's one, two, three, four, five, six, bicone, Six. There you go. I'm going to hold it up. Well, actually, let me put it down. So you, I really want you to. Make, I want to make sure you see it. So uh, you want to make sure you're on top of the previous spiral. So here's the bead you put on. Come up the one previous, the one you put on, and pull that. Yes that and make sure, see it wants to go on the other side, make sure it goes on the correct side. So that, that one wants to move over a little bit and you still, you see how they get floppy like this? That's normal. So you just want to make sure when you put these on that they end up like that. You want them, you want them right on top of the previous. I know I keep repeating that but you're going to see if you, if you accidentally turn it over and start again, then it's not going to be right. It has to be, you want to make sure you're going in the same direction all the time. Okay? So let's do one more because that one was a little little um, wonky, but that's okay that it, it, you know, if it goes out of place a little bit, you just have to learn to, to get it back on track. This is really very easy. You're going to be done with these in no time and they're so pretty. Okay, so there, six seed beads, a bicone, and six seed beads. You're going to go, here's the pearl you put on, go through your previous pearl. Okay, and the pearl you just put on. Okay, and pull. I kind of pulled some of the, when I, when I did that, part of the pearl was stuck. Like the, the the material, see, whoops, it's kind of stuck on there. That's all right. So um, there you go. So you're still on top. Okay. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Just be very very aware that you're keeping your spirals on top. Each subsequent spiral is going to go on top of the previous. Okay, so I'm going to hold this up, and you can actually, you know, you can, you know, whatever's comfortable, it's really comfortable for me to sort of hold it um, and do it this way, and it, I think that will probably be end up being the way you will do it. Just make sure that you're always on top, okay? So pull those through, and there you go. 
Okay, so each one, see he's on top, the previous one. So keep doing that. See? Keep doing that until you get to your the length of your bracelet. Um, I'm going to do a few more off camera and then we'll come back and we'll put on the first part of the clasp. Okay, see you in a minute. Okay, so we're back. So I've gotten a number of pearls on it. I'm just making a, as usual, a little, just a small bracelet so I can stay in frame nicely. Um, I'm gonna, just going to pull out a teeny bit. Just I don't want to have, you know, just giant hands. <laughs> I'll see, all you'll see is giant hands. Okay, so here, we've come to the end, and all my little um, spirals, flat spirals, are sitting on top of each other. Okay, so this is what I want you to do. We're going to add this little crystal, but before we do that, we're going to put on 111 0, a bicone. 111-0, the crystal, bring those down, three 11 O's for a little pico. So this is what you have on your needle, on your thread. Don't forget that first 11 -0 because it it fills in this little space right here and it, it's going to help us sew it together um, in the end, you'll see. So 11-0, Bicone crystal, 11 8 millimeter, 3 11 0s. Skip the 3 11 0s, come down the crystal, the 11 0, the 4 millimeter, the other 11 0, that's right up there against the pearl, and down three of the pearls. And then just like that. See? So you're just coming all the way down, and you're coming down the middle. There's a lot of thread that goes through these, but they're, the holes are big and they can take it, believe me, on all the, um, on all the beads. You know, whether it be, you know, a pearl, pearls sometimes have, sometimes have smaller holes, but this seemed to work out fine. So you're just coming down, all the way down to number three down there. See? So what I want you to do here, and I want to do this so that you can really see it. Um, if you notice that these are a little floppy up here, and you know, when you're wearing your bracelet, you don't want them flopping around. So, I want you, what I want you to do is you're coming out of that, I'm going to pull in for this, then I'll pull out again. Okay. You're coming out of this third pearl. So, I want you to come up the, the spiral of beads, and that would be the 11 O's, all these 11 O's, and the bicone. Okay, like that. See that? To pull that up. What we're going to do is we're going to attach. So I want you to just hold that first one up a little bit. You come out of the bicone, go through three more of those 11 O's, and then I want you to skip over to that bicone on the first row and slide it through. Slide your needle through. Okay, see that? And then just give it a pull. And when you do that, it's, it's going to connect that bicone to the previous um, spiral. See that? So those two spirals are connected. And then come up your seed beads. Just the, come through like so. Okay. See that? So you're coming out of here. Don't worry about the little 11 -0 that's that's going this way. Just come through your beads, go down three pearls again. One, two, three. Come out that third pearl. And we're just going to go up the other side and we're going to secure the top on the other side. So go up all the, the six beads that are coming out of that spiral and the bicone. And then just going to turn it around a little bit. See on the side here, you come out of this bicone, come up three more of the seeds, and you'll see that it'll just like almost slide right up to the next um, flat spiral, to that bicone on that next, the top um, spiral, and that's going to pull those two together. So then come through all of your beads again, like that. 
Okay, so now we're at the top. Don't go through that 11-0 that's facing in this direction. What I want you to do, and I know this is a little weird, but I want you to switch direction here. So I want you to come down one pearl. Okay, I know there are probably a million ways to do this, but this is, this is my way. <laughs> Tie a little half hitch knot right here. Okay, I'm losing my tail, it's getting stuck, so let me pull it out. So here's your half hitch. So you've tied that between the first and second pearl. Now come up that first pearl. And it's, that knot is not going to block that hole. It, it, it won't. So I want you to come through the pearl. And now come up through that 11-0 that's going in this direction. Because the other 11-0s are going this direction. The, this one's coming up this way. So then go through that one. I'm going to pull my thread up a little bit. So you see you're coming out of that 11-0. That's attached to that's beneath the four millimeter crystal. So come up. I need my glasses for this one. Ah, better. So come up the four millimeter crystal. So you're coming out of the 11 -0 with the four millimeter crystal, the 11 -0. Come through the big crystal. Try to get through one of your your little pico beads there. See so that pulls that into place. Okay, come across. Come down through the beads again. So you're you're really reinforcing here. Come through all the beads. Come through your crystal, and come through. Your, make my glasses off for this one, through the bicone. So you're coming through all the beads again. Don't forget to go through that little 11 0 that's attached to the top of the pearl there. Or are you a little guy? There it is. Okay, come through your pearls. And you should not have a problem coming through even though you have a knot there. It's just a little knot. Come down to, and just wiggle your, your needle around until you come out of, ouch, <laughs> a pearl. My thumb felt that one. So here we go. So I'm coming out of a pearl. I'm just coming out of a, any pearl like in the center there. So do you see how that has tied things on nicely? Okay. So then to go down tying knots in the center of your um, of the beads here. So do you see here that center thread? That's You'll see it. It's That's coming out right there. Okay, so just grab, don't grab the thread that um, attaches the, the spiral beads to it. Just the center beads right there. Go down a couple more. Okay, come on, little pearl. There you go. Yeah, some of these pearls are kind of, um, you know, when I poke through them, you know, that's again, you're not. It's not a Swarovski. When I poke through them, like the top part pops off. Okay, so then tie a few knots. Go down the bracelet. Just keep tying some knots um, all the way down, so it's going to make it nice and strong. And you know, don't pull it so tight that it's not going to flex. But you know, just get your knots in, and then we'll come back and we'll put the other end of the clasp on, um, and then you'll have a bracelet. Okay, see you in a minute. Okay, so we're back. So I've come to the end of my of my um, the bracelet, and I'm just going to take the um, stop bead off and leave that thread aside. You can just tie that thread in. So we're going to add the other end of the, the loop end of this clasp. So again, take an 11 out. I want you to fill that little space that is right here in between these two. Okay, so take an 11 out and a four millimeter bicone. And then a number of 11 O's that um, will fit around your bead. So I'm just going to put on you know, maybe 20, just um, because clearly I can't wear this bracelet. <laughs> so, uh, you know, this is just for demonstration purposes. 
so I don't want it to look too silly, but okay, so we've got a number of beads. So you count your beads and see what's going in here. I'm going to pull out just a teeny bit because you don't need me too far in for that. Um, so just make sure it's going to go through your, you know, that your crystal is going to be able to go through that loop. Okay, so I have a number. I'm going to push this out of the way. I have a number of beads on there. So this is what I have. I've got that 11 that's facing in this direction. See how it's going to pop in there? The 4 millimeter bicone and a number of beads for my loop. I'm going to skip most, all of them except the one before the 4 millimeter, four millimeter bicone and the 11 Okay, I'm going to come through. So we're going to do the same thing as we did on the other side. I'm going to come through three beads. I'm just going to flip it around a little bit. Okay, so here's my way too small loop, but you get the picture. Okay, so we're coming out of the third pearl right there. Okay, so I'll come in a teeny bit so you can see that. And we're just going to go up the six beads that are on the side of that pearl. Let me hold that. See? And come out of the bicone. Like so. Go through three additional beads after the bicone. Okay. One, two, three. And do you see how that almost like points you right in the direction of that top bicone? Come through the top icon, and you want to come through those top seed beads as well. So here we go. So we're just attaching that, um, you know, those two um, spirals together. I'll pull that. So I'm at the center again. Oops. So that has attached these two. See? Then remember, we're going to go down. Don't go down that. Um, the 11 out. Just go down the three pearls. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay. Then we're going to go back up through the 11 O's. We're going to go up three more. I want you to be able to see this. I don't know if that's, I hope that's helpful. Three more after the bicone. And that's, and just, <clears throat> excuse me, and slip through that top bicone. Okay, so we've got those two spirals that we've put together. And then you want to come through the rest of the beads. Continue. Through the top. Okay. And now I want you to do the same thing you did on the other end. I want us to switch direction. So we're just going to go down that first pearl. Um, and I'm running out of thread, so I hope I can make it just to show you one more time. Just picking up some of those center threads. One, two, whatever you can get. Okay. Don't go through the beads. You know, the little beads. Okay. Make a little knot. Pull, come through, back through the pearl, and now go up that 11 0 that's facing in this direction, the 4 millimeter bicone, the 11 0 and I don't have enough um, thread to do it, but all of your, your beads in your loop, okay? And that's what you're going to have. So this is your, <laughs> your little mini bracelet. Okay, so let me cut off a couple of, you know, the top. And, you know, you're going to be sewing these in. I just don't have enough, um, I just didn't leave myself enough thread to sew them in. So do you see how they're connected there? So that it keeps it nice and, and um, connected so it's not flopping around all over the place. Now, of course, I can't put it on, but that's, I'm going to pull out. That's how it would look. Um, so that's, and, you know, I noticed as I was making this one, I really kind of like it better. Yeah with those darker um, crystals around there because they're, um, do you ever notice like an antique jewelry, um, you'll see um, 
like everything will be gold, but then the setting of something will be silver. That's what I love about putting gold, like this bronzy gold together with the um, the black diamond bicones. I think that looks great. And I just wanted to show you really quickly because I don't want it to I don't want to take forever on the on this video. Um, just a long time, not forever. And I, I haven't sneezed yet, so I'm very happy about that. Okay, so here. Okay, tell me. Are we, um, do we have the perfect little, little earring and um, bracelet set here? Here we go. All right, so how's that? And just to top it off so that we... Um, Every, you know, so that we have the entire set. You know, and I always say to myself, I'm never going to, you know, I just don't need to make sets, sets, sets. They're not really, they're, they're, they go together, but they don't look exactly alike, right? So here you go. Here's um, Crazy for Pearls necklace, which um, looks great. Here are the Crazy for Pearls earrings. Here's your bracelet. So here you go. You've got another set, all right? And, and oh, as far as the um, putting on the ball and socket, what I did here is I just... I didn't even use a, I just, I didn't even use a, a, a jump ring or anything. What I did is I just kept going around and around like you do with the thread. And I've attached it with thread perfectly, you know, all right. We do that all the time. Like when we use a three ring um, clasp, you're going to sew your thread around it. So you're going to, you know, you're going to come up, you're going to sew around, you're going to come around. So you can sew that um, ball and socket clasp right on. So let's, here it is. All right, so here's your bracelet. Here's your mini bracelet. And I, I have to say, because with um, the um, Crazy for Pearls, we also did the gray and the, um, remember we did these Valentinites and the um, the pearls and the bronze or, you know, goldish bronze color together. I, I love this set. It's gorgeous. And I, I, I wear this set all the time. I, I love wearing this. I wear it out to dinner. I wear it, you know, I just wear it with... Um, it looks really, really pretty with a button-down white shirt and black pants. Um, it's or it looks really pretty if you wear a dressy. You know, I mean, I I wear it with jeans and a, and a pretty jacket. So um, there you have it. Here's your little bracelet um, to go with your necklace and your earrings. So now you have another set. You have the other set, the sparkle set, and now you have um, I'm going to call this the flat spiral galaxy set. How's that? <laughs> Even though this is crazy for pearls. <laughs> As a set, it's the Flat Spiral Galaxy set. Okay, hope you enjoy this video. Um, much more to come. We're going to do a double. Maybe that will be the next one. I'm working on a, um, a necklace for this, and I think I've come up with, um, you know, there are a couple things I've come up with. I'm not super happy with it yet, but, um, you know, I, I'm going to make a really pretty necklace to go with this. And um, like I said, first probably we'll do the double spiral. So here you go. Here you have it. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope to see you on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.